Welcome back everyone. What we've got here is a, a Troy Belt T200. It's a self-propelled model. I uh, picked it up at a yard sale and um, it uh, it runs. So this is going to be more of a simple, you know, what I do to, to make sure that, that it's in good health before, you know, I send it on down the line. Um, and I think what we're going to do is, since this one has a wash port, we're going to see if this thing needs a, um, we can see, look under here. Yeah, it has a, uh, it's not really all that dirty. It's got a, some paint chips and stuff that are off. So my guess is they've probably been using it. Um, I wanted to do a test to see, you know, kind of how it does. Um, but maybe we'll go through that and uh, do it. So it came with a gas can. And as you can see, this gas can sucked in. So what that tells me, I'm not sure if it's definitive, but usually that tells me they're running ethanol gas in it. And I can tell you, without a doubt, one of the worst things you can do to a small engine, a, um, a lawnmower, a four-wheeler, anything with a carburetor, anything with fuel injection that is not turning it over like you're, you're constantly full, full tank, empty tank, full tank, empty tank, like you do in your car. So boats um, and anything that's going to sit and allow that ethanol to wreak its havoc on your, uh, on your components. Typically they're going to mess up the carburetors first. It's going to make your, your fuel lines are going to get brittle and um, it also is going to, that, that um, fuel separates, or actually it doesn't really separate it, the ethanol in it sucks moisture out of the environment. So if you live in the south, it's even more likely that it's going to pull moisture out of the air and then you're going to end up with water in your fuel and then it's going to end up in that carburetor or if you have a fuel injection, a fuel injected uh, boat, it's going to end up, you know, in that. So avoid using ethanol fuel. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check the oil, see if it's low, and see kind of the condition in it. And the oil in this does look low, so this needs to have some oil added. So we're going to do that. Um, it does have some fuel in it. And then going to look at the air filter. This air filter looks brand new, so no need to replace that or do anything with that there. I don't suspect that there's going to be an issue. This is Clover. All right, girl. Sounds healthy. Um, I'm gonna get you set up, and uh, we're gonna start off with a bath this time on this. Um, in case I do need to clean the carb or anything like that, it'll already be cleaned up, and we won't, you know, get so dirty. So let's get it over to the hose, and we'll get this thing started. All right. So if we look up underneath, as you can see, it's really not all that dirty. Um, but we are going to, um, I'll show you how to use the port here and, um, how to help keep your thing cleaned here. I'm going to take it off, put it on, hey. This has got a lot of grass in there, huh? Alright. You're gonna pull that back. Pop, pop that in. Go 
got to turn your water on. And then... All right, let's see how that did. It's kind of hard to tell when it's wet, but I'm assuming by looking at it that they do this pretty regularly on the uh, on this mower. All right, let's just go ahead and uh, let's get this thing cleaned up. All right, moving on, we're gonna do the oil change. Remember earlier, we said this oil was low. So what we're gonna do is, when you do these oil changes, the way that you're gonna do them is, you're just going to fill them through the hole and empty them through the hole. So, Gonna tilt them over on their side and drain that oil out. Okay, so we want to tilt your bottle on its side. I'm using 10W30, Kohler, synthetic blend, it's just what I have, so that's what I'm using. 10W30 is, you know, what we're looking for. And when you're filling these up, you just want to go to where they have enough oil, or you know, to where it's within the range on the dipstick. Typically it's better to go at the upper end. Um, but you don't want to overfill them. And if you do overfill them, you want to get that oil out of there before you crank it up because it's going to throw all that extra oil into the exhaust. All right. I wanted to uh, try something this time around. As you can see here, um, we have this uh, uh, blade sharpening kit. Got it from Lowe's. Um, it was like 13 bucks. Um, so what I want to try is it has a balancer in it and then it has these this angle grindstone to be able to sharpen the blades so uh, on my last video I was doing it a different way but uh, I'm gonna give this a shot so I'm gonna pull this blade off and uh, you know check it for balance and and uh, we'll kind of do a review at the same time of this uh, Arnold blade sharpening and balancing kit
All right, so it's pretty simple. It's just a piece of plastic with a sharp point on it and has like a little bell that goes on the top of it. Then you take your blade and you're gonna put it, you know, put it on it. And then you're just gonna see if it's balanced. So as you can see there, uh, that's balanced. So this is so much easier. I think I'm definitely gonna be using this in the future. So let's um, go ahead and check this uh, sharpener out now. Let's pop it in a drill and uh, you know, we'll give it a quick sharpen, see how it does. So, I would think it goes. I think for the, uh, for the most part, um, I'm pleased with it. I don't think this thing would last very long, this plastic, uh, this plastic piece here, maybe it would, um, but you know, if you were to use this with your grinder method, you know, you should be able to to get it, um, you know, to where it's level and then also sharpened. Okay, um, I'm gonna pop it back on, and uh, we'll pick up the video back where we were at. I wanted to check this. Uh, gas tank and I want to make sure that there's not any um, ethanol fuel in this thing um, the way that that gas tank that I showed you earlier was uh, kind of sucked in it's got me thinking that there is um, some ethanol fuel in this and um, I'm not sure if it's gonna sell you know quickly or or, or what but I, I don't want to pass it off to anyone else with having ethanol fuel in it um, I really feel strongly that it is probably one of the worst things for a small engine is to uh, is to have that ethanol fuel so I'm gonna pull the carb at least look at the bowl uh, on the bottom uh, to check the to check the bowl out and I'm gonna drain this gas tank there's not a lot of gas in it but I'm gonna drain the gas tank to uh, check out the uh, condition of that fuel and then um, I'll uh, I'll bring you back All right, so I'm draining the fuel that's in this. The rest of it I'm gonna drain back in the tank, but that'll be enough right there to check to see if there's any water. We'll let that settle, and then I'll uh, I'll bring you back and take a look at it. Okay guys, remember I said I wanted to show you the uh, fuel, and it does not appear that there's any water in the bottom of this. If there was, it would look like little milk drops at the bottom almost like bubbles that would be sitting on the bottom and that's the water separating so um, I'm glad we drained it it's I still feel that it's a uh, it's ethanol based fuel um, based on that gas tank sucking in we'll get the gas tank put back on All right, guys, we're going to wrap this video up here. Um, again, what we did was we gave this thing a, a degreasing. We drained the fuel, showed you how the 
uh, wash port works, air filter was good, um, and uh, we sharpened the blades. Again, thanks for watching guys, and remember, you can't fix anything if you ain't out there turning wrenches.